Okay, so now, now this is the hardest one, right? We're going to find the specific heats, right? The specific heats are the C of M cat, right? So Q equals MC delta T, right? So not only are we going to have to read the Q off of the graph for every one of these slanty lines where, of course, M cat applies, right? Okay, we've also got to measure the change in temperature. Very, very difficult, okay? So that we have to do the latent heat, uh, or a specific heat, sorry, of the solid. We also have to do the specific heat of the liquid, and then we also have to do the gas, right? So let's go, um, let's do the gas first. That one looks juicy. Okay, gas right there. Okay. In this phase right here, we're just looking at that line segment. There's 100 joules of heat. That's our delta Q, right, is 100 joules. All right, so I'm filling in M, Q is M cat, right? Q is MC delta T, right? Q is 100 equals, well, we know the mass, right? Okay, 0 0.13, 0, 0.13, sorry. Okay, we don't know C. We're gonna have to see what it is. <laughs> okay, and then our delta T is 80 to 120, right? Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So that's a delta T of 40, 40 degrees Celsius, right? This is kilograms, this is joules, and the rest of it's history. We've got to do this with our calculator. Okay, so let's go uh, 100 divided by 0 0.013 divided by 40. That's 192.3. So C is equal to 192.3 to that, and that's joules per kilogram degrees Celsius, right? Is that what it's supposed to be? Yes. Okay, so now let's do the solid, or I'm sorry, the liquid. All right, the liquid is here. It's that line segment right there. Whoops, I can't circle things. Okay, so we're going to use Q as MCAT. Okay, our Q is, let's see, 100, 150, I think is what that is there. Let's just see. Yeah, there you go, right? So 100 joules, 150 joules. 150 joules equals 0 0.013 kilograms times C times, and then our delta T, what is that? Uh, 20, 40, 50. Is that right? 30 to 80. Yes, it is. 30 to 80 is 50, 50 degrees Celsius. Okay, so let's do this. 150 divided by 0 0.013, divided by 50, five zero. And that's 230.8 joules per kilogram degrees Celsius. And indeed, that's what it's supposed to be, right? Now, as far as sig figs go, we probably have three sig figs. So we should probably say 231 joules per kilogram degrees Celsius. We should probably say 192 joules per kilogram degrees Celsius. Okay, and then let's let's do the solid. The specific heat of the solid is this little line segment there. Uh, let's see, our delta Q looks to be 50 joules, doesn't it? So Q is M cat, so 50 joules equals 0 0.013 times C times, what's our delta T? 2030 degrees Celsius. Okay. We can do this as well. 50 divided by 0 0.013 divided by 30. And that is 128.2 or something like that. So I'm going to say 128 joules per kilogram, that's a kilogram degrees Celsius. Ta -da. So, so just read the Q off the graph. Q is this way, delta T is this way, right? And then just use MCAT, right? All right, that's pretty much all you need to do with graphs.